Hey guys, it's me again, and I am back with a with Ashima once again. This is the second. Uh, this is the second part of that of the review that I'm that I was doing in the first video. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So I've already reviewed the front of the package and the back of the package of Oshima's package. So now it's time to unbox it. So here we go. Okay, so now here is Ashima herself. Now, time to review Ashima. So the first thing I'm going part of so the first part of Ashima I'm going to review is the front. So I like how Mattel did on the uh, at the front of Ashima. She has cow catchers on the front, just like Toby does, but doesn't really have any cow catchers. Oh wait, I meant to say. Oh wait, actually, I actually meant to say a plow. So she has her own little plow on the front, like Toby does, but doesn't have one on the back, like Toby. She's got a pretty face that she's got. I like how Mattel did on the face because it actually looks kind of pretty. She actually looks kind of pretty with those eyelashes. Her face is really is bright. And something really cool is that they replaced the old take and play. Yeah. That they is that they gave it the same the same magnet couple couplings and couples is that it's that they gave that Ashima the same magnets like how they did on the wooden railway version the versions so anyways. <coughs> Again, try and mind my cough and sneezes. So, anyways, moving on. Next up will. Sh next up is her side, which shows lots of decorations that make her look beautiful. She's like colored pink. Uh, like for the front, she's colored for the smokestack and. Fronts like right here shows that she shows like that it's kind of black shows that it's black with a few decorations right there and then right here shows her boy shows her boiler and then down here shows her side tank and over here shows your cab with some more decorations and some decorations around the side tank and a little door here i have no idea why she has a door but anyways moving on to the other side <laughs> now the other side shows the exact same thing as black front pink boiler pink tanks and decorations. Okay. Next up, I'm going to review the back. It shows absolutely no decorations whatsoever. Just the, her bunker and her the back of her cab. Now, time to review the bottom, which actually shows her name. But I'm actually going to review the wheels instead of instead of the bottom. Now, even though Ashima doesn't have any extra wheels on her, 
I still like how Mattel was able to add like two wheels up here under her side tanks, like right here. And of course, I'm pretty sure you guys can't see it that much, but I can definitely see it that much too. Now this is what I call a beautifully paint, a really beautifully painted tank engine. Yes, mom? Oh, no, never mind. Anyways, as I was saying. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a, leave a, if you did, please leave a big fat thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to my this video if you are the if you if you've seen this video if you haven't seen my YouTube channel before but have seen this video this first video please be sure to subscribe and be sure to leave a comment in the in the description below. And tell me if you like Ashima or not. And be sure to tell me if she looks beautiful or not as well. So anyways, thanks again you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. So, goodbye.